Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can modify the properties of an object through a script. So instead of like changing a UI's visibility from true to false manually from the properties tab, you can just set it through a script. So in case you don't know how to get your properties tab, as you can see when I click on an object, I get all of these properties. If you don't know how to get this open, all you need to do is head up over here to the top of the screen, go to the view tab, and then it'll be the big button on the left side next to explore. You can hit properties and it should pop up over here. Now whenever you click on an object, you should have all of its properties, its color, transparency, and whatever types of properties that it has. So instead of like, here, let's put down a part. I'm just going to make myself a little part right here. So instead of manually setting its color to like red, or maybe let's say making its transparency 0.5, and maybe its material to grass. Instead of manually changing this all on the properties tab, we can change it from a script. And this can especially be useful in scenarios where like, let's say you have to change this transparency from 0.5 to 1 in the middle of the game. You can't exactly do that without scripting it to change. Like, you're not always going to be able to, like, I'm not sure how to explain that, but you can't be modifying game properties in studio and it apply it to people who are actually in a server. So you're going to have to change it through a script instead so here let's put let's revert this part back to normal make it quite big and let's make it in the sky so when we hit play we should see our part fall from the sky as you can see it just fell down can't push it but yeah it's a pretty basic part it's staying it's solid white color and it's just staying the same size transparency nothing really special about it so let's quickly add a script into our part you can change properties with a local script or a server script if you change a property on a local script let's say you make the part transparent on a local script only the person that the script ran on or the person's client that the script ran on won't be able to see the part every other person besides that person can actually still see the part since it's only happening locally so only happen to happening to that player's client but if you change it with the server script it applies the effects to everyone in the server so everyone in the server is gonna see that it's invisible now so let's add in a server script here for this one now i'm just gonna add a quick task dot wait i'm just gonna make it actually let's not do that so i'm gonna make a variable local parts equals script dot parent so i'm storing the script's parent which is the part into a variable called part so now we're gonna do parts dot anchor so pretty much this is where you can check out all the properties so once you input the object or part that you want to modify the properties of then you hit you put down your own um, period or your dot and you have all of the properties of the object so if we go to the properties of the part and we search up can collide as you can see there's a can collide property so if we do part dot can collide we can modify that property to how we want it and now let's see here let's find so let's see if there's locked as you can see there's locked and in the properties tab there's locked so if we do part.locked equals true it's like ticking this property to true as you can see the check mark it's just like doing that you can also change all the size so dot size dot position orientation you can pretty much change anything that you can find on this side property panel through the script so let's say we want the parts to be anchored so you know what you might not see anchor here but yeah we do see anchor here anchored pretty much makes it so if it's unanchored then 
it's just gonna fall down to the ground because well gravity but if we do anchor it we're just gonna keep it in place so when it does fall down well it won't actually fall down it's just gonna sit there so if we unanchored it as you saw at the start it fell to the ground but if we anchor it it's gonna stay up here in the sky how we want it so here anchored is set to false so we're just gonna do part dot anchored equals true because we want the part to be anchored and not fall down so now we're gonna do task dot wait i'm just gonna add a little delay let's say one second and then let's do part dot color equals color three dot from rgb i'm just gonna select like a bright yellow color so this is getting the parts color property up here and it's setting it to color 3 and it's getting an RGB value of this yellow color. So if it's like we put this yellow RGB code into our color over here, pretty much the same thing. Now we can do another task.wait, another second. Now let's just change the transparency, so part.transparency, which is this property over here equals 0 0.5 just as if you were to modify this and drag this little slider to 0 0.5 so this is setting the parts color to yellow this making it a little more transparent and you can change this value as many times as you want so let's say we want part.transparency to go to 0 0.1 instead so it's more visible you can just constantly change this Let's change the material as well. So task dot weight one part dot let's go part dot material equals enum dot material dot let's say we want it to go let's just make it neon. So when we run the script it's gonna first anchor the part which as you can see it's already or it's starting off as not anchored. So it's going to anchor the part, we're going to wait a second, then we're going to change the part's color property to a yellow color, we're going to wait another second, then we're going to change the part's transparency to 0 0.5, just as if we were to go 0 0.5 here in the properties tab, then we're going to change it to 0 0.1, and we're going to change its material to neon, just as we can find right there. Let's go ahead and run this script. So as you can see, our part is yellow and now it's neon. Let's actually increase those delays because it kind of happened a bit too fast. Couldn't exactly notice it changing. So make it to two seconds. Now if I zoom out, it's yellow. It's a little transparent. It's a bit more visible and now it's neon. So as you can see from there, this can be very effective, like let's say you want a person to be able to touch a part and that part's gonna vanish or just go invisible. The only way you could really do that is through a script and changing its property through the script. So in that case you would be doing something like part.transparency equals 1 because one is just full transparent so if you set it to one it'll be completely gone and the player won't be able to see it anymore so yeah that's how you can modify a object's properties through scripts instead of the properties tab hopefully this video helped you and yeah see ya